Delhi, the nation's capital, is the largest commercial center of northern India. Delhi has the advantage of its cosmopolitan society, where there are people from every nook and corner of India. It is the capital of the world's largest democracy. Delhi is a world-class city and the Delhi Metro Rail Corporation, also known as the DMRC, have made this statement clearer by introducing the Delhi Metro. With taxi and auto fares going up due to never-ending inflation, city buses are most used and get overcrowded by the day. The Delhi Metro is like an oasis in the middle of the desert. It's the cheapest, fastest and the most convenient means to get around the city. Now travelling from one corner of the city to the other is just a metro ride away. The DMRC introduced their Phase 1 in 2002. It consists of three routes, Shahadra to Rithala, Central Secretariat to Vishwavidhyale and Indraprastha to Dwarka Sector 9. These routes sum up to a total of 65 kilometers and 58 stations. Phase 2 was introduced in 2006. It consists of 10 routes, Shahadra to Dilshad Garden, Indraprastha to Noida City Center, Yamuna Bank to Anand Vihar, Vishwavidyale to Jahangir Puri, Indralok to Mundka, Central Secretariat to Huda City Center, Dwarka Sector 9 to Dwarka Sector 21, the Airport Express Line, Anand Vihar to Vaishali, and Central Secretariat to Badarpur. These routes sum up to a total of 125 kilometers and 85 stations. Pratibha Industries has been assigned to build the Phase 3, comprising of three underground routes, which will include Janpath to Mandi House, South Extension to Bikaji Kama Place, and Kalkaji to Chirag Delhi. The latest tunnel boring technology was implemented in the construction of this phase. CC01 starts at Central Secretariat Station, making its way towards Janpath. The whole route has been constructed underground using the tunnel boring machine. The tunnel passes beneath three major skyscrapers, the Antariksh Bhavan, American Center and Kailash Building. Finally, it reaches Monday House. CC18 consists of a route from the South Extension to Vikaji Kama Place. Pratibha Industries would be making four stations in this route comprising of 8.7 kilometers, which includes South Extension, INA, Sarojni Nagar, and Bikaji Kama Place. CC23 consists of a route from Kalkaji to Chirag Delhi, which include Kalkaji, Nehru Place, GK Enclave, Panchil Park, Chirag Delhi. 14 meters below the active city, this tunnel boring machine digs through the earth paving the way for the newest edition of the Delhi Metro. Pratibha Industries has installed multiple of these massive machines to match DMRC's deadlines. The first part of the tunnel boring process is the tunneling phase. The tunnel boring machine has a cutting wheel which is pressed against the tunnel face by hydraulic cylinders. Inside the cutting wheel, the disc cutters and scraping tools loosen the materials. The material excavated is taken away on a conveyor belt. It is then loaded onto rail wagons and transported to the surface. Once the tunneling phase is done, the cutting wheel and screw conveyor stops and the ring building phase begins. A complete tunnel ring consists of five segments made of pre-built reinforced concrete. They must match the exact size required after which the machine then lifts these segments and lines them up for the feeder. These are made at a factory above. 
The segment feeder feeds in the concrete segments and they are lifted to put into place using the casting machine. Once the segment is lifted, it is taken to be positioned. It is bolted to the other segments of the ring. The casting arm retracts and the machine repeats the same step. The hydraulic cylinders are temporarily retracted to provide enough space to the new segment. The segments are positioned with millimeter precision and held in place by cylinders before being finally bolted into position. The conical keystone is put in from the front to complete the lining ring. Each individual tunnel ring is built in a slightly conical form so that a curve can be built along the tunnel route. Once every section of ring building is complete, the next tunneling phase begins. A TBM is a tunnel boring machine. Uh, we are doing mining and uh, per day we are doing 10 rings. 1.4 meter ka ek segment hota. Approximate 14 to 15 meter. Hum log per day mining karte hai. This is the section of uh, Mandi House to Janpath. Pre-built reinforced concrete segments are built at a 50-acre yard located 10 kilometers away from the tunneling site. This is our Pratibha casting yard. We have divided it in three parts. This is our cage fabrication yard. In the cage fabrication yard, we have first cut. After cutting, we have bending. After cutting, we have rolling. After cutting, we have rolling. Whatever our requirement is, as per BBR. After that, we have all the bending and rolling. स्टील होता है ये पर हमारे जिग मशीन पर जाता है जिग मशीन जो हमारा है वो हमारा प्रोफाइल सेगमेंट के हिसाब से हम लोगों ने रेडी किया हुआ तो इसके बाद फिर हम लोग पूरा केज रेडी करते हैं केज रेडी करने के बाद हम लोग कास्टिंग यार्ड में चले जाते हैं कंक्रीट इन द टीएम मशीन्स इस पॉड इनटू सेगमेंट मोल्ड्स वंस द कंक्रीट वाइब्रेट करने के बाद हम लोग उसको पूरा फिनिशिंग के लिए छोड़ देते हैं तो वन एंड हाफ आवर के बाद उसका हम फिनिशिंग कंप्लीट कर देते हैं। आफ्टर डी मोल्डिंग द कास्ट, द सेगमेंट्स आर लिफ्टेड यूजिंग इधर अ वैक्यूम लिफ्ट और अ सीज़र लिफ्ट। ईच ऑफ़ दिस सेगमेंट्स आर पुट ऑन टू टर्निंग मशीन्स फ as per the requirements of the tunnel boring site, dispatch trucks deliver the segments. This is the INA station building, made in the phase 2 of DMRC. The existing station has the ticketing level below the surface and under that lies the platform. Since the existing station tunneling is already 14 meters below ground, Pratibha would be creating the new tunnel line between the existing line and the surface. Minor miscalculations would mean crashing into the existing tunnel below or the city above. The tunneling platform and the concourse level are on the same level of this route. The proposed ticketing section of phase 3 is connected to the existing platform level. The process of station building construction involves marking out the diaphragm wall. The construction methodology adopted here is bottom to top. Once the D wall is marked, hydrophrase machines are used to dig 14 meters into the earth. Once the machines finish their activity, steel cages are made ready to be filled inside by large cranes. Once the diaphragm wall is ready, excavation begins at the site. The earth is dug, making a large shaft to build the station. The 
bottom to top construction method involves the construction of the platform level first, then the concourse level and then the entry level at the surface in the end. A boom placer is used to transfer concrete from the TM to build each station level. Thousands of workers work around the clock digging, mining, welding and drilling. Almost six months and 1.5 kilometers later, it's finally time to see light at the end of the tunnel. The moment that everyone has been waiting for, the breakthrough. After completion of this tunnel work, we are now confident that we will be able to execute all the uh, similar kind of this tunneling projects which are uh, planned uh, which will be upcoming in uh, other cities like uh, Mumbai, Kar uh, Kochi, Ahmedabad, uh, Lucknow. On completion of the breakthrough, the MD of DMRC Mangu Singh himself visits the site for inspection. This gives a great boost to companies like Pratibha Industries for having the topmost personnel present and sharing his insights on such an important achievement. We are the first Indian company who has successfully completed underground tunneling without any help from foreign hand. Entire tunneling team is indigenous. There are various stakeholders like shop owners and various small business people who are doing business in this particular area. So we will have to win their confidence to execute such projects okay, without any hindrances. The entire team effort is the success of the project. Let it be TBM operator, TBM helper and people working on underground finishing works. Everyone is putting their best. We are going to complete five months ahead of the schedule. So all said and done, December is the target date for handing over this, both the stations and tunnel, everything to DMRC. This is a marvelous achievement. So far in DMRC history, no, no contractor could ever deliver it. We at Pratibha are proud of the achievement of our entire team. It was our proud privilege to be associated with the construction of such challenging and prestigious project in the heart of India's capital. I would sincerely like to thank all the stakeholders, including DMRC, our vendors, our subcontractors, our bankers and the entire staff members for contributing to the success of this project. It will be Pratibha's continued endeavor to construct challenging infrastructure projects for the betterment of our society and development of our nation.